We have not had the rights of the First Amendment since 9-11. Any New Yorkers here? You know what I'm talking about? We have, at this moment, the rights of the First Amendment here in Foley Square. Which begs the question, why do we suddenly have those five freedoms and those 45 words written in the 1780s for us? Why do we suddenly have those rights right now? Because we are demanding them. Because, because there are so many of us. Because there is something in each and every one of us that is impossible. Because a bunch of 28-year-olds decided to occupy Wall Street three weeks ago. And they started going up and down the streets, and they met barricades, and the police pushed them back, and not a lot of us were with them at the time. And they just kept going, they kept demanding, and they ended up in Zuccotti Square. And they turned it into Liberty Square. And we joined them there, and we felt the rights of the First Amendment just coming up into us. Somebody give me a Bill of Rights of Lula. Bill of Rights of Lula. Bill of Rights of Lula. Revolution. 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 We can go from those five freedoms, worship, speech, press, peaceable gathering, and protest, straight to revolution. When you have those freedoms, when some kind of protection is around us, and the big fundamentalistic institutions. In the 1780s, it was the monarchy of England. Now, it's Coca-Cola and Walmart. When we are Goldman Sachs, Chase, UBS, when we have protection from those big, totalizing, violent corporate marketing, paying off the legislatures, lobbying, shooting, bombing, fundamentalistic religions, when we have a little bit of protection, which we are giving ourselves at this moment, Amazing, mysterious, creative, evolutionary, unexpectedly brave. Things, things happen. Things happen. We start doing what those kids did three weeks ago. We just start going. Tax those bastards. Take them to court! Take them to court! Stop socializing our losses and privatizing their profits! What is that? 
What is that idea? I have just said the most obvious thing. I have merely quoted everyone's common sense. I was a little bit uh, uncomfortable at first saying we are not the 99%. I was thinking, 99%? You know, maybe 74% would be a lot. <laughs> but that common sense, that common sense notion that they were stealing from us and they ran us off a cliff two and a half years ago and they have not been held accountable at all. We bailed them out and they paid themselves handsomely. No one was in court, no one went to jail, and our leadership in this nation did not explain that they were not making prosperity, they were not creating wealth, they were not making jobs even before the recession hit. And I think it is 99%. Because I think all of us have that common sense notion in us. Yeah, they have a Darwinian idea of the landscape. They just think, kill them, eat them, get what you can, steal everything that isn't nailed down. Yeah. Call, call it banking. Yeah. Call it democracy. Call it freedom. Call it the First Amendment. Corporate marketing says what it wants to say. But what has happened recently is that our common sense has become radicalized. Our common sense is outmaneuvering old traditional political positions. And we are going back to the source of the freedom in the first place. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition to petition the government for redress of grievances. 45 words, five freedoms. It applies to us at this moment, just as it did in 1780s. Americans have died for those freedoms. Now we have to live for them. Amen. Yeah. See you another song. Hallelujah!